Good morning, good morning, my friends. If you're wondering what this is, for those who don't know, this is one of my favorite fish. It's called gilbaka, or deep sea catfish. That's one slice. Look at that. Really nice gilbaka. The tail? No, we're not throwing that away. And this is a delicacy for me. Nice and gluey. All right, so let's cut it up into smaller pieces. Then we're going to season it up. I'm going to put it in the fridge, come back and cook it. Gilbaka is considered one of the top tasting fish in Guyana, most exported, of course. Snapper, Hassa, Gilbaka, those are the three main fish. Everyone loves it. And today, I'm going to show you my version of cooking our curry. So let's go. Look at the fat under this fish. Nice thick skin, but look at the fat. Very, very nice. Let me see if you can see it closer. All right, let me just cut up this time really quickly. This is just from the garden, just went out and got it. This melts away really fast in the pot, so no need to grind this or blend this up if you don't, if you don't have to. I do have some of this in my green seasoning. That's my green seasoning. It has some garlic, pepper. I have some shadow benny. I got scallions, you know. This is some ginger and garlic, ginger, garlic. And of course, we can't forget our Weary pepper. I could go right in. I can start with this. So all my viewers, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Really do appreciate it. It helps out a lot. We also have a Facebook group and page. It has the same name as the YouTube channel. You can check that out too. A little bit of black pepper. So I want the flavor from that weary pepper to, to stand out. I'm gonna mix this up and put this in the fridge. Let it marinate for at least one hour before cooking it. Cooking is very simple. Here are very few ingredients, but lots of flavor. Let's look at the curry mix for us. I got curry powder. I got some turmeric. I got a little bit of roasted jeera. I got some garam masala, and I put a little pinch of duck and goat curry. And of course, I got my mangoes, tomato, garlic, onion. I have a little bit of ginger paste too. So let's go. First, we're just going to put some oil. You can use whatever flavor oil you want. Let that get really hot before we add the onions and the tomato. Just saute that around, you know, bring it up a little minute or two. Very nice. Let's go to our tomato. Let's give that a minute or two also. And there's our ginger and garlic. And as you can see on the time, just, just to the right there on, on the um, clock on the stove, it's very, very simple. This dish doesn't take too long, and it's all nice. You know, this is one fish that is, is kind of thicker, so it does take a little bit longer than a normal uh, curry. So, of course, we're going to add a little bit of water to our curry mix, and just mix that really well and, and set it aside, and you'll see how nice it turns into a paste. I've been mixing this for many years, so the water is very, very, um, you know, varies depending on what curry I'm using. I just have a feel for it. And that's what the texture and consistency you're looking for. I'm going to smell all the neighbor's house in this area. They just love the curry flavor. Many of them come knocking at the door sometimes. Hey, are you cooking something nice today? So, of course, we're going to let this masala cook for a couple of minutes before we add in any fish to it. Just keep stirring, you don't want the masala to burn, you can turn the stove down a little. And there it is, you can see, once it start, you know, pasting to the bottom, that's when you wanna keep turning more, and then just add the fish, and that's gonna be nice. You know, some people don't like to season up the fish before, you know, that's just your own personal preference. You can add the seasoning now, but as you seen before, I season my fish, I season all my meat. I'm going to mix this really well before I add any of the green mango. You can also add some tamarind or you can also add a moringa or we well, well known in our in our uh, culture as as a saijan. So you can add moringa, I think it's ladyfinger they call it too. But we love green mangoes. Okra, you can also put okra to this. Just a little bit of salt to cover that mango that I added. And we're just going to toss this around, make sure it's, it's well coated. You know, we want all that 
water that was that's in there to dry down first before we um look at that skin just delicious let's mix this in well you want the masala you want the fish to get well coated with everything cooking is about love and patience that's my weary pepper going right in the backyard mm -mm -mm. I think I want to eat right now so I love the tail so when I'm gonna finish this the tail is what I'm heading for everything is bubbling real real nice give this a few more minutes then we can add some water to this I just want to make sure everything is good this fish is very thick I should have cut this a little bit thinner but it's fine it's just gonna take a little bit extra longer to cook than normal So I like to go in with hot water, not a lot of people just use regular regular top water, that's fine too. This probably just speeds up the process, but I've been doing this forever. And then I'm going to add my scallion and my parsley to this, mix this around really well. Cover it down, I'll let it cook. Cook until tender, it's going to be really delicious. That's it, oh, see? Here's my taste tester, my wife right, from Trinidad, and she loves Gilbaca too. Okay. It's not a normal fish in Trinidad, but she loves it here. And I think this is done. I'm going to turn the stove off, get my plate of rice, and I'm going to have lunch myself. Mm -hmm. Give this a try, guys. Very, very simple. As you can see, everything is very there. You know, lots of local ingredients. Everything you got in your pantry. Oh. As I said, I love the tail. I just want a little bit of gravy on here. I'm looking for some mango also. Let me look for the tail first. There we go. As you can see, the meat is pulling away from the bone, so no, that's how I usually know my fish is done. Especially for these little bit tougher fish. You can add coconut milk to this too. It will be delicious. Mm, look at that. Don't stick your finger through the phone. Just delicious. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you give the recipe a try. Really appreciate it. And as always, thank you.